the more rounded we are as an individual, the likely we are to succeed. Yes, of course, our technical skills are important, but equally important are our people acumen, our business acumen and our cognitive acumen. And we have four sets of resources to draw from. We have mindsets that we consciously adopt. We have skills that we develop. We have knowledge that we acquire. And also we can draw from methods, mental models and frameworks that help us put shape to what it is that unfolds and we confront day to day in our work and in our career. So I think consciously thinking about these four flavours of resources that we draw from and four types of acumen that we're seeking to develop competence in and get better and better and better in, the likely we are to be successful. And to help you with this process and in the spirit of the better we reflect, the better we perform, which is a key mindset, I believe in any profession, I've developed for you a strategic reflection workbook which brings together uh, many of the elements that I've discussed here and is an opportunity for a moment of pause, an opportunity to stand back and reflect on your personal growth, your current goals, the customers you currently serve in your role, because we all serve customers, we all provide a service, we all provide experiences, and the more consciously we can think about the services and experiences that we provide, and who are, and for whom, the different flavours of our customers, the likelier we are to provide a great service, and the likelier we are to progress in our role and find ourselves being provided with the type of opportunities that we'd like for success in our career. So I hope you find that helpful. It's free via the link in the description, so download that, and I hope, as I say, I hope you find it helpful. I publish every Friday a Friday's question, and the whole idea is to share the 30 plus, the lessons of my 30 plus years of experience of uh, running businesses, developing teams, leading turnarounds and assessing businesses for acquisition. In all of this, collectively, across the whole of my career, I've been involved with over 150 different operating uh, organisations and environments. That's the backdrop um, to this. And, and every Friday I publish a, a question that's really designed for thought provocation and to share some of the lessons of experience and also at times to share different techniques and methods that I think we might find helpful. So I'm going to show one of those videos now. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you get great value from it. Please do give this video a like and do subscribe uh, because it helps the channel but also it'll help you be notified uh, of any future videos and I hope you enjoy this video. We have to think about uh, how we equip ourselves, equip ourselves to deliver the best that we can possibly deliver in any situation, both mentally in terms of our ability to organise thought and to uh, process what we are confronting day to day in organisations and in our career. Why shouldn't we try and be the best that we can possibly be in every situation, but also in our ability to get stuff done, so in, in actually skilling up. It's a combination of skills that we develop. A key part of being able to get stuff done is knowing stuff. Knowledge that we actually proactively acquire. A key part of getting stuff done is how we look at the situations uh, that we face. Mindsets that we consciously adopt. All of these are important elements. Our methods, models and frameworks that we use to help us deal with the typical situations that we'll encounter day to day in our career. So equipping ourselves is very important. Are we sufficiently conscious and proactive in identifying and then implementing, taking the steps that we need to move our people, our team, our department, our organisation, our own career forward? I hope you enjoyed that Friday's question. Please do give this video a like and please do subscribe. As I said, it really does help the channel and also it'll help you get notified of future videos. Also, don't forget to download your free personal growth strategic reflection workbooks available via the link in the description. And I look forward to uh, seeing you in the next video.